Welcome to the instructional video for the Benimar 286. So from the outside you can see we've got the mains connection point. Just lifts up and your mains cable just goes into there. In front of that we've got the boiler vent and we've got your awning on the top. I will sing you a separate video of how to use the awnings which we've done previously. Behind the habitation door we've got your external barbecue point and then we've got the rear locker doors. So they're unlocked at the moment. You've got one key that does all the locks. Then that opens up your locker area. And inside there you have your heater vent, mains and 12 volt cables, spare wheel that the customer's order is an extra, your tool kit from Fiat, carpets, external screens, ladders, uh, and you've got a table section there, as well as the back winders. And just underneath, your awning hole for opening and closing the awning. So that's just located just there. You have a little cupboard underneath that just, you've got your makeup table just there. That's where that stores away and that locks in place just with that. The doors just turn and then we'll lock in and push in place with the key. The back, we've got the reversing camera high up and the pre-mounts for your bike rack. On the driver's side, again, we've got access into the locker areas. Just looking at it from the other side there. In front of that, we've got your toilet cassette. Which again, is lockable with the key. Lift out, lift up the little handle, slide it out. Make sure that the cassette uh, valve is closed inside and then when you've emptied it and filled it back up make sure that that is sitting over there and is in place below that you've got a sticker that tells you where your wastewater is drained and that is wastewater valve is drained by pulling that handle and it comes out of the tank just underneath the vehicle there we have in front of that your fresh water filler point again on do the cap and that will allow you to fill up with a hose pipe and underneath the vehicle in the centre, you'll see there's a little uh, blue pipe hanging down with a little push fit on the end. That needs to be removed to drain your fresh water. Do you remember to put that back on when filling up the fresh water? Forward of that, we've got your gas locker. Again, just by pressing on the door, pushing in, that will then give you access to two bottles in that gas locker area. Please ensure on here that you leave the drain valves and drain positions here where the holes are, clear of any obstructions, and that will allow the gas to escape from there. Forward of that, we've got your mirror guards that are on there. The mirrors manually fold in, but electrically operate. And then we've got the front of the vehicle with your diesel point, which is just located just in there. Two open the bonnet you've got a switch that just pulls down there and you will find that in the middle of the vehicle there is a little yellow lever that's pulled up that allows the bonnet to open we've got oil and dipstick just there positive point negative point just a little uh, screw fitting on the top and then to the left hand side we've got your screen wash so moving inside the vehicle we open your habitation door and move inside so the seats swivel around using the little handle here they only lock in the forward position and you will need to slide them forward and backwards to just miss the handbrake and the steering wheel on both sides you have height adjusters on either side to allow you to adjust the heights of the seats. Armrest adjusters are just inside these little paddles here. And you have your seat back adjuster there. Above that, we've got a big sky roof light. It is a opening sky roof light and you have a handle that winds up. You must release the uh, window stays either side and that will open. Just like... Right. Again, it tells you on it which way to open and which way to close. 
So just turn it and that will open. Behind that, we've got your bench seat options. And in the middle for your traveling passenger, you will need to remove the side seat covers. And then here underneath, they literally have little handles that pull towards you. You'll need to do that on either side. And that seat goes away for your passenger to have leg room whilst you are traveling forward and backwards. Underneath the seat here, you have a hatch, which gives you access to your fresh water tank through the little cap there and your pump with the filters just there. You can fill it in manually if you didn't want to move the vehicle by putting it in through the black cap for the water and that is located underneath the forward facing seats. Behind that we've got TV bracket, mains and 12 volt and aerial sockets just located there. The windows themselves have fly screens and blinds that are located and that is the same all around the vehicle including the cab windows which has the Remis blinds fitted as standard for you. Under the side seat here we have your boiler control so I'll just move the cushions and show you where they are. So underneath the seats we have cupboards that are designed to be lifted up and out of the way and this is your main sort of service area. We have a frost protection valve here so with the diamond pointing across the vehicle and on the front side of it which I will show you you have a little blue button that needs pressing in that will allow you the boiler to fill up with water and allow you to get your heating uh, the hot water. We have got a charger which is the black box, your main fuse box which is at the side of it and then your main RCD box which is this one for testing that the power is coming into the vehicle and if it trips out that's where it will trip out. So everything is located in this seat section under here. Behind it you have another section for storage so that's where that one's located and we always advise that you move the cushions off when trying to gain access to it so you don't put any strain on the fittings that are hinging on the back of it uh, it just will help you protect them hinges from breaking going forward again above it we've got fly screens and blinds just on that the door has its own blind and the fly screen is located just in here just like so the main controls to the vehicle can be found just on this control panel here and it's pretty similar to a lot of the Trigano products so to turn it on you press on that button there and basically that will put on any option that you've already chosen if not you can turn your lights on and your 12 volt power by pressing the 12 volt you can turn either on or off the water pump when it's on it illuminates and then we've got the external awning light which turns on and off just by pressing the button the bottom functions we have got power to your habitation battery power to your vehicle battery and a water level sensor which tells you when there's water in the fresh water tank the vehicle currently has water in the next button along is to dim or brighten the control panel to your choice you have an indicator to tell you that you're plugged into mains and you also have an indicator that will appear when your waste water tank is full. Now one thing I always tell my customers is before they go on to the heating control, make sure that you have either turned your gas on and you've got plugged in electric before you choose this option. So turn the heating on, you press the button in the middle and that will display your options. First option being the temperature that you want it to be in the vehicle. So you turn the dial until you're happy with the temperature and press the button. The next option I always go to then is the fuel source. So if I haven't got gas at the minute, I've only got electric, so I'm going to turn that on to electric one kilowatt. Otherwise you will have mix of gas and two kilowatt electric, mix of gas and one kilowatt electric, gas only, or all the way round to, to two kilowatt electric. Whichever I choose changes above the line just there. The next I want to do is then turn the fan. So Eco is slow. Oops, let's go back. Sorry, one minute. Eco is slow. High is obviously high. 
and then if you have the fan running for about five minutes it will allow you to go into that setting and select boost that takes all the power away from the hot water if you're trying to do the hot water to get the heating up to temperature as quick as possible this is also the option if you want to do your water so again at the minute your water's off but you can either have it on 40 degrees which is slow 60 degrees which is hot or boost which takes all the power away from your heating to get your hot water up to temperature now there are your fundamental options there is a reset option if you do lock the boiler out which you do by turning that all the way to the right press it press it again and that will reset the system very much like starting and stopping your mobile phone you can see that there's an indication of time on there and there is also an indication to tell you that you plugged into mains the little dial at the side is your thermostat so that is where it will have to reach to get the temperature and finally before you're leaving the vehicle uh, you want to turn off this panel before you start turning off the gas and unplugging your electric to do that press and hold the middle button and that will turn the unit off above that there is a carbon monoxide detector and a fire alarm that is located there we have light switches next to the door that will do various lights and again on the big kitchen area we have a big fly screen and we have a blind above we've got lights and extractor fans pretty self-explanatory in all honesty and then the cooker unit is the Thetford cooker unit which has the one electric ring and the two gas rings again electric being this one gas being the two here and then you've got your oven grill functions which is for the oven grill underneath here grill to the right oven to the left behind that we have your fridge so it's a Thetford fridge and we start that up by pressing the button on off button at the side here what we can do then is we can decide which options we're wanting to try by pressing and holding that button so at the minute it are telling us we'd have gas we can then select when it's flashing which option we want so the battery will only work when the engine's running the electric when we're plugged into mains or lastly the automatic option so i'm going to select the automatic then we've got the temperature so again you let it flick over and you change it from the coldest temperature at the top to the warmest that you see there and anywhere in between so again select it and then when it starts flashing it will tell you so at the minute we're on automatic we're on electric and we're warming it up to a middle position when you want to turn the unit off you just press and hold the standby button and that will go off and there we have got your fridge and your freezer compartment and below we've got a little separate unit there so quite a lot of storage for you and again to turn it off press and hold and then the unit will go off yeah above we have got the aerial for the tv which is located just in there so you don't really need to do much with that at all again make sure that you close and press them little push buttons in and that's the same on the storage units around the vehicle so they are a soft close but then press them in We've got your plugs in there and your utensil drawer. We've got a storage compartment just in the centre. And then another storage area underneath. So again, as I'm going through it on the video, I'm locking to make sure that we're safe to drive away. You've got another storage unit just in there, which locks. And then lastly, you've got another storage area just underneath the kitchen, which is a large storage area seated nicely below the microwave and another 12 volt socket for you just there two plug sockets are located just underneath here and there is a light for the ambient lighting just on the switch there the cupboards themselves literally push the handle down and that will release each of the above cupboards for you just like that we have your solar regulator just there and we have the iNet system which you can connect to your phone to power the heating from your phone when you're in bed. So closing them as we go along, big pull out ladder. So plenty of storage again in there, press it in and then lock it. And then lastly we have your wardrobe storage area. Inside there is all your booklets and your packs. So have a good read, again along with the video, that should help you 
work out how to utilize and use the vehicle pull that down that will give you a step to give you access up into the wardrobe area and again then it magnetizes on and the push button will give you access into the garage area just locking in place just like that into the bathroom area we have in here again an opening window so your window stays either side and we have another large storage area and one of the makeup cushions to make up the bed underneath you have a fly screen and a blind on the window above there and we have your shower duckboard and your screen just there please make sure that your screen is toggled on before traveling so that's not banging around and make sure again on the bathroom area that this little button here is pressed in before you're driving away the flush for the toilet is just located there and you must have your pump turned on the unit for that to flush simply press and that will flush water into the toilet to open and close the cassette you'll simply slide the button towards the back of the vehicle to open it and to close it slide it towards the front of it you have an indicator just down there to tell you when the toilet is getting full and again we have got two storage areas just at the above there for all your belongings cup holders and soap holder also comes as standard and that's just there so that's the main fundamentals of the vehicle let me talk you through your water so movies tap out of the way once it's filled up with uh, the fresh water in the water tank you want to turn the tap and it's indicated just on here too hot and open up the fresh water to the boiler it should fill the boiler up first if you shut the drain valve which is underneath the seat remember me telling you just underneath here and you want to run it until there's a steady stream of water just like that once there is turn it off and you have filled up the boiler you can go to your control and get the hot water heating up to temperature for you you can see there that you've got your little drainer that sits on there and another key thing to remember is make sure that you cool down the uh, hob before you turn in down that lid it will shatter otherwise so doing the bed there is a couple of different positions simply want to press the button there and again you'll see that it's moving quite quickly so in the top position it will allow you then to have it round about here or if there's just the two of you it will go down to the lower level and we'll stop just about there so there's no need to stand on there we have safety net rings that are located just on the roof and we have your own lights which turn on by pressing the button just there night lights are located at the front of the vehicle just through there and again as i mentioned flash screen and blinds on the windows we do tell you to put you find to put your bedding on and your duvets if your pillars are too big then try putting them on either side up at the front here and that will give you a bit more headroom inside the vehicle depends how tall you are but it is as simple as that the ladders hook onto the little grey sections there and that will allow you to formulate the upper bed if you want and again at the top it will simply just cut out as and when you are using uh, the bed so cab wise we have the multifunctional steering wheel we have your windscreen wipers and your trip counter just on the end of there we have on this side your lights lower down we have speed limiter and cruise control just there cab air conditioning the rear view camera and your radio which is also got bluetooth and the nav option please bear in mind the nav option isn't motor home specific but it still will give you some aid lower down we've got your hazard lights traction uh, hill descent and traction plus traction plus giving you more traction to get off a wet icy slippy surface and your hill descent obviously helping you going down a steep incline we've got a lock button which will lock the cab doors the automatic option which this vehicle is a standard will allow you to either select it automatically or manually reverse or neutral and above here we've got a ratio uh, 
lower out which will allow you basically to start on a, on a very high steep hill at a lower ratio to stop your wheels from spinning. We have got your aircon like I say which will light up when you turn it on just like that and we have the Remis cab blinds as I mentioned earlier drinks holders glove box and a cooled area just here which will be cooled depending on your aircon you've also got your section that lifts up here which you just pull towards you which allows you to have your phone or your tablet whilst driving we have got your mirror controls just there and your electric windows so that's the cab and the vehicle completed we hope you find it useful we look forward to your feedback any queries or questions please ask us when you come and collect the vehicle we hope you enjoy